New tonight, one person is hurt after a crash involving a pedestrian at Towson Circle tonight. Our Towson camera caught the scene. You can see a large police presence that completely shut the roundabout down for a while. The Baltimore County Fire Department says one person was stuck in the crash but has been rescued. The victim's condition is not clear at this time. Right now, we're seeing dramatic video of a crash in Baltimore City earlier this week. It is heartbreaking. Take a look at this. It happened on Bel Air Road earlier this week. It's killing 68-year-old Sharon Worsham and her 9-year-old grandson, Xavier Dukes. Deadly crashes are becoming more common in Baltimore City. Fox 45's Vincent Hill joins us live with a closer look. Vince. Yeah, Maxine and Kai, this video may be disturbing, and as this crash remains under investigation, it's a harsh reminder of the dangers of the roads here in Baltimore City. Terror captured on camera in East Baltimore. Order was signal 31 in Bel Air and Pelham. Watch closely as a red SUV barrels past several cars. Seconds later, it goes airborne. That's two fatalities. The 68-year-old driver and her nine-year-old grandson killed at the scene. While that investigation is ongoing, reckless driving, an ongoing issue in Baltimore. Fox 45 cameras captured car after car after car running through the red light at the same intersection. I heard this bang. This man detailing a hit and run that killed 88-year-old Barbara Logan in Northeast Baltimore, killed after a truck blew through a red light. Are they catching anybody? Nobody's thinking about the impact that your reckless driving might have on others. Retired police chief Curtis Clements. Speed kills, and the reason speed kills is because the faster you drive, the less time you have to react to anything that may present itself to you in the roadway. And it's not just speeders who are a threat, according to Clemens. High speed chases and, and, and driving and pursuing people in high speed chases, it presents this element of danger, not only for law enforcement, but even more so for the general public at large. This video shows the moment a stolen car crashes into a building along North Avenue. Clear, traveling at high rate of speed. It looks like it's gonna go south. Now. We'll think about the building collapses killing 54-year-old Alvin Fincher. And as more kids steal cars. There's this old saying, drive it like it's stolen. And, and that saying's there for a reason. It means when you've stolen a car, you don't have, you don't care about the car. And unfortunately too often, particularly with younger offenders, they don't especially care about anyone else that might be in their way. Now I did speak to the witness who shared that video. They believe that 68-year-old driver may have suffered a medical condition prior to that crash. Meanwhile, MDOT says there were 44 fatality crashes in Baltimore City last year, 15 of those speed related. For now, we're live at BPD headquarters, Vincent Hill, Fox 45 News.